Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create some custom characters for your PowerPoint presentations using People Builder. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. People Builder is part of the Voomly Cloud family, and you'll often see me using it in our Doodly videos. Well, you're not limited to Doodly with People Builder. You can use it in anything. And so today I thought I would create a few characters and bring them into PowerPoint. So here's my example PowerPoint presentation. And you'll see I have some People Builder characters. And I did use a little animation just to make it interesting. So how do we get these characters and how do we bring them in? Well, you want to fire up People Builder. So how do you open People Builder? Well, you go up to your Voomly Cloud app and then you just select it, People Builder. Voomly is going to authenticate you. You may be prompted to click a button that says, yes, it's me. Since I had just recently signed in, it still remembers me. Again, if you have Voomly Cloud, you also have People Builder. And I'm going to click Create New. And let's give this character a name. We'll just call it Bob. Bob is male, so make sure you click the correct gender. And let's have him be holding a megaphone. And let's give him some hair. Let's adjust his face. Let's make him happy. We could change his skin tone if we'd like. Change his body. Um, when, when we're talking body, it's just his upper body clothes. His arms need to match. And then legs are going to be your lower body clothes. And that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and export him. And if you recall on my PowerPoint presentation, I had a slide that said export as PNG. So that's what we want. And the reason we want PNG is because we don't want this white interfering. Uh, I'll show you. So let's also export one as a JPEG. Now let's go back to PowerPoint. And I'm just going to drag and drop my images in. So here's my JPEG. And maybe you can see the problem. So here's the PNG. Okay. So I don't want this white background in here covering up my photo. So that's why I'm saying do the PNG option. Something like that. Let's go back to People Builder. And that's that one with the sign that we did. Let's do another one with the sign. There aren't too many options that have the sign, but there are a couple. So I'm just changing this guy And let's export him. If I wanted to save him for future use, I could choose Save As and give him a different name besides Bob, but this is fine for our use today. Again, I want PNG. And in this case, I'm just going to replace my other one because I'm done with it. And let's go into PowerPoint and let's make a new slide. And I'm going to bring Bob in. And I'm going to show you how I added the text. I mean, it's easy. If you know PowerPoint, you know how to add the text, but I'll show you anyway. I'm going to make him big because I want to just kind of fill up the screen with him. And then we go over, let's go to home, grab a text box. And then let's just type something in here. And Let's pick a font. I'll, I'll use the same one I used in the other example, which is Chelsea Market. And I think we can go even larger. And that's fine. And then to animate your text, just select it. Go to Animations. And then choose one that you'd like. I think I used the drop here for this one. So you could do something like that. You could flip the words in like so. You could do any number of things. I'm just showing you a couple. Or whip them in. 
like that. If you want to animate your character too, you can certainly do that. So let's have him maybe fly in like so. And we want him to do that before the words come on, right? So go over here to the animation pane and we're just going to change the order here. And so now if we preview it, he comes on and then the words come on. And that's basically it. That's how you can use People Builder to create your own custom characters to put into your PowerPoint presentations. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.